Good morning, it's about 3.40 a.m. I'm here in the parking lot of the South Rim. There's the general store, post office, bank, and I'm getting ready to go. I slept pretty well. It got cold last night, although I guess it's not super cold. It's down to 38 now, but it feels cold compared to what it was uh, when I went to sleep. Um, so the plan is to go down the Bright Angel Trail to start across the bottom of the canyon up to North Rim and then um, coming back, I'm gonna go up South Kaibab Trail. There's a closing on the Silver Bridge between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. during the week, um, which would block off the Bright Angel Trail on the way back. So that's why I'm gonna do that route. I'm gonna start by parking here and running the two to three miles out to the um, Bright Angel Trail head because sounds terrible to tack that on at the end. <laughs> um, so hopefully the plan is when I finish at um, the South Kaibab trailhead, there's shuttles running on that side so I can take a shuttle back here to finish at the parking lot. So that's the plan and um, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. All right, so I'm on the rim trail. It's all pavement. I'm about a mile away from Bright Angel. I just passed the Earth Camp's Visitor Center. It smelled like bacon, so they must be cooking already. Um, but yeah, all pavement, very dark. Stars are beautiful. And uh, just passing now Arizona Steakhouse. Maybe that's what smells good. Okay, we made it to Bright Angel Trailhead. Here we go. down, Red Angel, and get down to the box. All right, let's do it. We're gonna have to look out for uh, mule poop the whole time. <laughs> So far so good, making my way down. These uh, definitely aren't, they're not East Coast trails. That's for sure. <laughs> Almost could have worn uh, road shoes maybe, but um, it's great. Just gotta dodge the uh, mule poop and don't trip over these little log things. I'm trying to take it nice and easy, not blow out the legs. According to the map I have, it's going to be, uh, I think about nine miles to the bottom. Alright, still making my way down. Take it nice and easy. Just past two guys who look like the uh, Walking Dead. <laughs> I don't know what time they started. I chatted with one of them. And uh, they were just finishing up their uh, double crossing. Uh, he was telling me that they attempted it in September, but had a bail at the North Rim and had to like, hitchhike back. Ended up getting a ride to Page and then uh, finally getting their way back to their cars, which I guess is at the South Rim. So they came back for some unfinished business, asked how he was feeling. And he said, this sucks. <laughs> so I think it got a little foreshadowing of what it'll feel like at the end, but they were really happy to be uh, almost done. Okay, just passed uh, another three people. Again, <laughs> I don't look walking dead. Uh, I'm peering into my future, seeing these people finish. Uh, it's about... Uh, I think it's a little after 5 a.m. Still making my way down. Hoping my strategy of taking it really easy on the 
way to the bottom is going to help at the end. We'll see. I'll be able to report back uh, later on today. But um, yeah, so far so good. It's a little bit windy. You know, the two guys I passed at the beginning told me just uh, the north rim had some really strong wind, wind gusts, so to be careful over on that side. So we'll see what it's like later on today when I get over there. Uh, but the wind feels nice. It's definitely getting warmer the further down I get. So I think when I get to the bottom, I'll change, uh, take my jacket off, my winter hat, and keep moving, so. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. All right, coming on for the first true sighting of the Colorado River. It's so cool. So I'm at mile almost 10. So I'm just a couple away from uh, Phantom Ranch. There were two little creek crossings and I totally slipped in uh, both times. <laughs> so I've got wet feet, but it actually feels good because it's starting to get warm. I stuck my hat in the river just to stay on top of being cool the whole day. All right, I can see Silver Bridge. The bus got like sand running here. It turned into a beach. And I think I see a bunch of people crossing over there. So after Silver Bridge, um, should be less than a mile or two to get to Phantom Ranch. That'll go across the box and up to the north rim. The colors are just amazing with the uh, sunrise. All right, we're gonna cross Silver Bridge. So this is the bridge they're saying, I believe, will be closed from um, 8 to 5 during the week. So that's why I'm going to go over it now. And then I'm pretty sure when I come back, I'm going to go over that bridge to get to um, South Kaibab Trail. And oh man, I really don't like bridges. <laughs> I don't like bridges. <laughs> I don't know if it's better to walk or run. We're just gonna walk briskly here. Maybe I should put this little uh, hand strap on. This GoPro. <laughs> oh. Taking the beauty, not think about the fact of walking right over the river here. <laughs> oh, I don't like bridges. Do not like bridges! <laughs> water just to be safe maybe add some tailwind into it and then uh, keep moving I would recommend if you're gonna do this um, hike or run and you've never come before like me I've been uh, finding that the 
a Venza map that I downloaded has been really helpful. Um, if you don't know what that is, a Venza is an app where you can download maps and then you can see where your GPS coordinate is on the map in real time and you don't need cell service for it. So that's been helpful just to um, see where I'm at on the trail and then um, just get my bearings, know what things are called along the way. And um, what's nice about the map that you can download is there are mile markers on it. So I guess the question is whether or not my watch is accurate because I know the satellite's a little funky in the canyon. But so far it's been um, pretty consistent with the map. The box reminds me a lot of the river trail in Zion. You got the water right next to you on the left, and you're going right through the, uh, the canyons here. Uh, it's definitely nice and cool now. Uh, I can understand why people recommended getting here early. So hopefully, uh, making good time, it won't be super crazy hot on my way back. I got another find out what these plants are. <laughs> it's so tall. Oh, how tall it is. Definitely be taller than a basketball hoop. Gotta look that up. Alright, so I'm channeling my inner Kaylin Hopkins, shout out to you, my friend. I am hiking every single incline to uh, preserve the legs. I learned that from you. So far, it's working really well. Even if it's a tiny incline, I am gonna hike it. So I think now about hmm, four and a half miles out from the bottom of the North Rim. Just passed uh, two hikers who were backpacking rim to rim to rim in uh, five days. So it was nice to chat with them for a little bit. So shout out to Grace Langheim, listening to her podcast on the uh, Trails Collective. Just started, she had like the best message about body image to grace i love you friend keep preaching We're excited to listen to the rest of your podcast uh, i got about four more miles to the bottom of uh north rim and the views just keep getting better and better uh, i'm also learning when i stop to take pictures to turn around and look behind me because every view is uh Really great the other way too. The friendships that I've gotten over the years with men and trail running as well. All right, just got out my poles. We're starting to go up. Um, getting close to Cottonwood, which means we're getting close to the bottom of the North Rim, and uh, we're starting to go up. So far, I'm gonna watch again. I don't know how accurate it is. Um, down, descended 5,000 feet. I've only gained 1,600 
in uh, almost 18 miles. So, legs are starting to feel it, that's for sure. I am uh, actually looking forward to climbing. Um, I'm better. I'm better at going up than down. So um, we'll see if I still feel that way. We're climbing up to the North Rim. Morning. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Thanks. Wow, I mean, I've seen pictures and stuff, but it's just, it's cool to see it in person. Just not expecting um, so much green at the bottom of the canyon. Makes sense though, the river right here. All right, I'm gonna take a little break and then make my way up. All right. wasn't on there. There should be another opportunity before the North Rim. He grabs it. Alright, we got another bridge. I've lost count now. It's probably been five or so. Almost at mile 21, and I'm pretty sure this is a much needed water stop. I just ran out of water. Um, but you know what? Like, I have a filter bottle as a backup, and it's nice knowing, I mean, you're so close to water the entire time. So, um, it'd be really hard to run out of water, especially with the backup filter bottle. Um, but, yeah, this route is just really supported. There's so many restrooms and um, water stops along the way, which is really nice. And then natural water sources as well. So we're getting there, also the North Rim. And it's getting hot. So definitely had to stop here and check this out. This huge waterfall across the way. That's pretty awesome. I'm telling you, every single corner I go around, I'm just thinking, how could it get better? And then you go around a corner, it gets better. <laughs> oh man. I do want to pause at the top of this little corner here because I think the view on the way back, looking back is going to be unreal. Right. Oh, Gorgeous. I hear the wind. It is whipping. But you come on little pockets where it stops. It does feel good. It is, it is toasty. It's getting warm. Alright, less than three miles from the top of North Rim. It was getting really hot. So I just uh, hung out um, on this like uh, overhang. It was nice and shady just to cool off for a few minutes. I channeled my air mat Klein to cool off, shut it down for a few minutes. Um, yeah, this run is so fun. I feel like I'm uh, getting to implement all this amazing training advice from friends that I have. And uh, it's cool to like put it into action. So it's definitely not gonna lie, getting hard. 
I'm getting close to actually probably halfway now because the South Kaibab Trail that I'm going to take back is shorter, about three miles shorter than uh, Bright Angel that I took down. So I'm a uh, seven miles in. If you can see that, I'm sorry, seven hours in, about 24 miles. Gain is at 4,200. Descent 53 again. Not too sure how accurate it is, but mileage-wise, it's been pretty spot on with the map uh, that I've been using on Avenza. So feels good to know I'm about halfway. It's so cool on this trail to see you can look back of where you came. <laughs> uh, I am dying a little. <laughs> um, if I can get down all this, should be smooth sailing. <laughs> um, it's steep, it is steep. I have to say, any Jersey folks, your best training would just be Mount Tammany over and over and over again. That's what I would say. Mount Tammany or Catskills um, or the High Peaks. But look at this, this is cool. Going in this little uh, tunnel. But it would, I mean, it's hard to mimic this kind of a, a run, a hike, because the climb is so long uh, for us East Coasters. Finally, <laughs> ah, I can see the North Kaibab Trail, North Rim Trailhead. We're at eight hours, 25 minutes. That climb was brutal. <laughs> ah, I am for sure feeling the elevation. I mean, my heart is just pounding, so. I stopped probably three or four times on the trail just to sit and um, get the heart rate down. <sighs> wow. <laughs> um, the trail beauty though, unmatched, unrivaled, just makes all of it uh, worth it. Oh my goodness. Well, there's snow here. And I passed a couple before who said it was snowing and they were up here um it's definitely colder but it feels good look at all that snow um yeah it feels really good it was roasting roasting on the climb um ah all right Yeah, so I'm up here, North Kaibab, basically now I'm gonna just retrace the, all the steps, cross the box again, and Phantom Ranch. That's gonna be where I'm gonna split to take South Kaibab instead of Bright Angel. Um, wow. <laughs> um, I didn't take a lot of video or pictures on the way up just because my heart was pounding so hard so I'm definitely gonna try to stop a little bit more on the way down again strategy will be like the first descent down the canyon is to take it easy and not bomb it because uh, still got to get back to the car but it's really nice knowing that I'm more than halfway there at this turnaround because I took the longer trail down which was uh, bright angels so that's really nice so I'm at 27 I think it's going to finish at 46, so I'm guessing I've got about 19 or so miles left. And um, yeah, should be on track to finish before dark. So here we go. It's also really cool on the way up here how. Um, how much the uh, 
the landscape changed. There's so many more pine trees than um, on the south rim for sure. So now I gotta dodge, uh, gotta dodge the pine cones this time instead of the mule poop. So that'll be the, uh, the obstacle. Okay, I didn't stop on the way up because my heart rate was out of control. <laughs> uh, but this is Coconino Point, or Coconino Overlook. It's just gorgeous. So pretty. Um, I also wanna give a shout out to my friend, Becca, Mama Beck because she's a PT and I've been having some IT band issues. And um, go figure, the exercises she gave me worked. <laughs> I, uh, my IT band's feeling pretty good so far. Um, honestly, it's okay if it hurts at the end because I don't know how something couldn't hurt with <laughs> this steep downhill. Um, but we're just gonna take it easy and um, see how it goes. So listen to your PTs, they know what they're talking about. the views on the way up that I was like oh I want to stop but if I stop I'm not gonna start again so I'm gonna try to take uh, more pictures and videos on the way down yeah it's really cool because you can just see like how far you came up also how far you have to go back down descent is done now it's just kind of rolling uh, back through the box and then the big climb out on South Kaibab trail so getting out of the home stretch uh, 15 and a half miles left This is a shout out to my Tahoe 200 crew and Wachunda ladies. It's our theme song. I don't know if you can hear it. I think we're alone now by Tiffany, which is a good time to share real talk. And I wanted to do this on the video because I knew we'd get to this point. Um, real talk, real time, because I know myself. If you ask me in a week from now, how was Runa Runa Rim? I will have nothing but happy, pleasant memories to share. Cause that's how the runner's brain works. Disassociate the hard and the suffering and uh, you're left with all the warm fuzzies. <laughs> so real talk, real time. This is hard. This is hard. Uh, the climb up to North Rim was really tough. Um, I think the heat, combination of heat, the elevation, which I'm not used to, and just, I mean, it was long and steep. Um, but then coming down, I mean, that's hard too, because it's long and steep. <laughs> um, but all in all, of course, it's really, really fun. You cannot beat the views. Um, 
I was just chatting with a couple back on the trail and um, they were actually from uh, Albany, New York. So we were talking about the high peaks, Adirondacks. And um, we both said to each other, like now, um, hey there, good. And um, we said to each other, now we understand why the Grand Canyon is like the most special place on earth. Like totally get it. I understand it now. Yeah, so real talk, real time. This is really hard, but um, so much fun. Really, really fun. Oh, and here's that waterfall again. All right, we're getting close to the uh, water refill point. And it wasn't Roaring Springs, I said that before. It's called like Mazanata Point or something. Um, I have to look on the map again. Uh, but that's where I'm gonna refill use the restroom and uh, maybe get the sand out of my shoes. You know, even I have the gators, there's still a lot of sand getting in there. So uh, I want to keep them nice and clean for the finish. Okay, I took a really nice break at that uh, water refill. Uh, just before the bridge. It's super windy again, but it feels really nice because it is hot. Um, I looked on the map, I think I've got eight, about eight miles back to Phantom Ranch. And um, then from Phantom Ranch is the last climb up on South Kaibab Trail. And this is all the video I want to get. I didn't take it on the way in. Didn't want to stop a lot, but so gorgeous. doesn't have uh, potable water. I mean, you could filter from here with a bottle, but um, I already had enough from the other stop, but I am so hot. <laughs> I just stuck my head in there um, and I feel a lot better. So this is a good spot to uh, take a little dunk. So I think pretty much from here until the end, any water I come across, I'm just gonna dunk, dunk my head, dunk my hat, my butt in there. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. You all weren't lying about the box being hot. Um, so Michelle Rice, this one's for you. Um, you've helped me a lot with dealing with the heat. No, I don't have an ice bandana. Uh, there's no ice, obviously, but the water dunking in the cold river is definitely helping. So thank you, my friend. So just was chatting with a uh, park ranger passing the trail. It was super nice. Um, we were both saying how there's not really a lot of people out here. I was expecting to see more. I mean, I've seen people throughout the day, um, but I've only seen maybe, uh, I'm gonna say six runners who are doing the uh, rim to rim to rim. And then, I think it's just a handful of other hikers. I mean, besides the people I saw at the campground. Um, but everyone's been super friendly. It's been fun to chat with people. If people slow down a little bit, just hearing, you know, where they came from, what they're doing at the Grand Canyon. So we got um, probably about four miles left. Phantom Ranch, halfway there. And then seven miles up to uh, the end on South Kaibab Trail.
Okay, so let's talk about trail magic because I just came through Phantom Ranch, missed the memo, it closes at four for this uh, famous lemonade. Sorry, Kaylin, I didn't get it, but you would not believe what just happened. I was talking with a park worker. He was, um, he was in awe of the rim to rim to rim. And uh, he said, I reminded him of his daughter, who's also 33. And um, he asked how I was doing. I said, well, I could really use some calories other than um, the bars that I have left. He said, hold on, I got something for you. And he gave me a pizza log. A pizza log. I mean, can you believe it, Kaylin? A pizza log. It's a Hopkins pizza log. So, unfortunately, there appears to be like red pepper flakes on there and I'm a baby with uh, hot food, but doesn't matter right now because this is going down the hatch. I don't know if it's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing. There's like pepperoni and sausage and red pepper flakes on there. <laughs> Squatch bigger, go home. So now I'm gonna get on South Kaibab Trail. You can take either back. Um, I took Bright Angel here. That's like three miles longer. And um, so I'm gonna do South Kaibab back. Should be seven miles. You know, just a 4,000 foot climb to finish it off. Um, rim to rim to rim, you are a beast. A beast. So I've got right now almost 44 miles. So I guess it's gonna be uh, over 50. Who knew? Uh, and I'm at, let's see, elevation. I'm at 7,500. Elevation and descent is almost 12,000. So, good times. Um, hoping to catch some good colors with the sunset. I think sunset is at seven. And then um, probably get totally dark by, I don't know, 7.15, 7.30. So I guess we're using the headlamp to finish this off. So going back over the river and I'm gonna talk through it again because I really don't like bridges. <laughs> um, I feel like overall it's been pretty good, um, but kind of walking a tightrope with a few things. The heat was, uh, it definitely got, got me at the end coming through the box. Um, it helped to dunk my head in the river when I had a chance to do that. I learned though, by the end, you really have to get your, um, your hair soaked. Like I have really thick hair, so I'd say ladies, if you have thick hair like me and you're overheating, you really have to like take the buff and um, dunk it in the river and then keep squeezing it on your head until you could feel like your scalp is totally wet. Because that's what it took to really pull me down. The first couple times it felt good for a few minutes, um, but it wasn't until like the last two where I got it down. Um, and then food. Food was kind of like, it was on the edge. I feel like the last hour or so. Food. 
I still can't believe that happened with the pizza log. So I am uh, not concerned anymore from here to the end because I still have half the pizza log left. And then actually his other friend gave me two cliff bars, which was nice. So those have a lot of calories in it too. Um, so if I ever get the opportunity to do this again, I would definitely pack um, like the same snacks, but more like maybe another sandwich, more trail mix. Um, I don't know. I mean, pierogies would have been awesome, but I don't know how long you can run with those in your pack in the Great Canyon. Um, so those are my couple of reflections getting over that bridge. Ultra running memes, I am wishing for the sweet release of death. Oh man. But this view makes it worth it. Woo! I think we got four miles left. Maybe half an hour daylight before they get the headlamp. The colors are really pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, it's hard. <laughs> but I am still having a good time. Um, I really I genuinely mean that. Um, my legs feel okay. Much better than when I was coming down. Um, up is always better than down. There's still a little bit of daylight left. But uh, Kogawa is on. And this is it. The final countdown. All right, so I just went through the South Kaibab trailhead. So I'm out of the canyon. Holy crap. <laughs> I am at uh, almost 51 miles, 12,000 feet of gain and loss. Uh, 17 hours. So, I mean, I knew this was a possibility. I knew it was probably gonna happen, but I was just kind of in denial about it. But um, this is gonna be a complete loop. So, gotta get back to my car at the general store. I think it's two miles, but uh, it's flat. So, that makes me happy. It's actually pavement, which is fine. Um, I wish you could see the stars. I don't know if you can. You see the moon. It's so, so, so pretty. It's definitely getting cooler out, so I'm glad I have my jacket and um, little winter beanie. So, here's to a complete rim to rim to rim. Um, I think I missed the shuttle by about an hour. Um, that's the way it goes. So I am getting uh, the true, complete rim to rim to rim experience. I think usually it's um, trailhead to trailhead to trailhead. So that's why it's like 46 miles or so. So I think this is gonna clock in at probably 53 miles. So, you know, squatch bigger go home, right? It is finished. <laughs> I am turning left into Market Plaza where my car is parked. Um, so, I definitely didn't take the most direct route back. I don't know what happened. At this point, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm at almost 54 miles, 12,200 feet of gain, 12,200 feet of loss, 17 hours, 54 minutes. So, there's that. <laughs> it was definitely everything I hoped it would be and more times a hundred. <laughs> oh, um, 
Yeah. That's it. Good morning. I uh, slept terrible last night, which is to be expected. Uh, I'm in this glamping tent. I've never gone glamping before, but um, I had a, I stayed at the Mather campground the night before, but there wasn't availability for last night. So um, <clears throat> the hotel prices were crazy. Uh, so I ended up finding this on hipcamp.com and it's pretty cool. It's like canvas tent and it's got a real bed in it which is not really nice. Um, stand here you can see the remains of my <laughs> sad $12 sandwich that I bought at the uh, gas station. It was the only thing open last night. Um, but this was a pretty cool place. It'd probably be nicer in the, uh, when the weather's a little warmer. It's really cold. Um, but it's actually warm because I brought my this uh, camping quilt and then they provided like five blankets, so um, I wasn't cold during the night. I'm gonna head back to the South Rim actually um, because I haven't seen it in the daylight, so I wanna go and check it out and uh, just walk down to one of the <coughs> overlooks to see that. Um, and then I'm gonna head back to Las Vegas to spend the rest of the time with family. Uh, so that's it. I am so glad I drove back here today. <laughs> um, it was 30 minutes out of the way to come back from where I was staying. <clears throat> but, um, who was it? It was John Swanson, Johnson. Make sure you get to the South Rim in daylight. And of course I didn't, because I got here at night. And then uh, started in the dark, ended in the dark. Um, so I decided to drive back. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> These are the best views and I think topped any of the views yesterday with Rim to Rim to Rim. Granted, I started and finished in the dark. Um, so I probably would have caught some more views had it been daylight out. But this is just, this is unbelievable. Now I feel like, I feel like the trip is complete now. Now it's, uh, now it's complete. Did the rim to rim to rim, got to see this during the daylight, and uh, it was an awesome trip. 